Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets, a trading session, the 19th of February 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, the stats then for the European markets, the way we stand, FTSE 100 really is the weakest link on the back of Racket Benzica certainly dragging the index down so again that certainly is a cause of concern even though having said that oil price is certainly at lofty heights so uh, certainly supporting the FTSE to one, to one extent uh, from that perspective FTSE as you can see at the moment we're currently languishing around the 70 to 80 zone down 20 points German DAX is down 50 French CAC certainly under pressure as well now in terms of German uh, DAX the um, uh, support certainly remains strong from my perspective it certainly remains bullish um, given the fact that OPEC obviously as well as uh, forecast uh, stronger oil demand going forward, that should certainly help the commodities, which in turn should help equities, generally speaking. Also, the Bundesbank economic labour conditions suggest wage growth will accelerate to more noticeable degree than in previous years. So again, talking up the euro there as well, and talking up the uh, the actual uh, German economy. Industrial so it probably remains a driving force behind the upturn. German economy is booming. So again, certainly a positive sign there as well. Um, now, um, we have concerns with regards to Trump, obviously the situation there with regards to Russia and uh, the accusations and uh, going back and forth. And also with regards to the school shooting as well, certainly a terrorist incident there with a child involved, which obviously has been radicalised by Mr. Trump's ideology there, racism and hatred. And well, that's exactly what's occurred. He's apparently he's posted a Facebook video as well, uh, certainly uh, promoting Trump. So again, not exactly a good sign. So again, creating more divisions within the U.S. Uh, society, uh, and again uh, with uh, an individual like Trump, more, what more can I say? Okay, really, is uh, is in modern day Hitler, really, isn't he? Um, okay, so basically, we're currently at this uh, status quo now. So again, situation with regards to Russia, situation with regards to the school shooting there as well. Certainly, the two factors that are weighing. Uh, the uh, stock market last week had one of the best weeks since 2016 or 2013. So. Pretty impressive re reversal there in the uh, in the actual equity market itself. Let's see if that continues. That's the question. Now, taking a short trade this morning in the FTSE, close of shorts. Okay, now looking for a potential move higher. In terms of economic data or fundamentals, the remainder of the day. Uh, let's just quickly go through. You had uh, UK house prices slightly better than this, well, come more or less in line. The eurozone current accounts certainly coming in weaker. EU construction data as well, certainly on the weaker side. Uh, okay, Mr. Carney is due to speak at 6.45, so again, that shall be interesting later on. Okay, and that certainly is a status quo. In terms of the dollar index, uh, certainly bouncing off the lows. Let's see if it can maintain and hold for now. Okay, folks, let's just bring up the euro quickly. This could present a, a trade opportunity here, so bear with me. Just go and take this trade. Long euro USD. 1.2398. Okay, so that's an interesting trade. Where are we? Just taking that trade. Okay, so yeah, that's certainly a good trade. I was, I was looking at this trade. We, we, we touched that uh, potential uh, pivot low. Certainly looking to go long on the back of that dollar uh, potential weakness as well. So again, let's keep an eye on the dollar index and let's see what the potential move is there. Okay, just marking out key levels on my chart on a 15-minute basis. So certainly looking for that support to hold on the back of uh, stronger uh, Bundesbank forecast in terms of growth and weight. Okay. Let's look at the uh, technical picture now, German DAX. Okay, let's move on to the German DAX. Daily chart certainly bouncing. Nowhere near as, as much as the NASDAQ. Uh, again, uh, we did have news with regards to the um, German coalition there, potentially merging, providing support to Merkel. Certainly seems that political uncertainty is weighing on the German DAX at the moment. Okay, so that's certainly something to take into account. Moving on to the 60-minute chart at the moment, we've still failed to close that gap at uh, 12585. Certainly expecting that gap to close, given the fact that we've had stronger economic data there, stronger projections as well going forward. Let's just take the pivot low from here, connect it to pivot low using this uh, diagonal trend line now. Obviously, you have the battle of the two gaps. You've got a gap below and a gap above. 
I'm certainly going for that gap above to close, especially given the strength in the NASDAQ as well. The German DAX certainly needs to be playing catch up there from that perspective. 10 minute chart now on the German DAX. I mean, we can use our diagonal trend line, horizontal trend line as well. We could take this pivot low, connect it to clear, and again, looking for a potential pop. We've obviously rejected the highs there, obviously, since we closed the gap. Uh, we've certainly you know, hit that pivot, that pivot top there. We've certainly reversed. We've closed the gap today and actually moved lower. So, again, German DAX showing immense weakness. Looking for a pop in the DAX, though. Uh, again, looking for a pop back up 12, 470, potentially 12, 500 and higher, especially in the back of Bundesbank. So, bear that in mind. Now, we've got a cap field below. We've got horizontal support, diagonal support, certainly a good support zone for the German DAX. Okay, so move on. Uh, move on to the French CAC now. Let's see exactly where the French CAC is trading. Daily chart held 200 MA, held at 50%, held previous support equals resistance. Daily chart certainly remains weak from that perspective. Having said that, though, not as weak as one would expect. Uh, again, let's just use our fib, uh, look at horizontal resistance here. You've got gap fill above, gap fill below. So certainly battle the two gaps again, okay? Battle of the multiple gaps, really. Um, so again, given the fact that we've had stronger economic data, given the fact that Asian markets certainly pushed higher, US markets certainly pushed higher, although they have come up on the back of Paul Manafort, etc. Uh, it'll be interesting to keep observing this is exactly where we go. Um, certainly an argument can be made that you've got an h and brewing as well, looking for h and reversal down to cap fill, but can we push higher back up to 5296? That's the question. Okay. In terms of the FTSE 100 daily chart, we already know, we're back into previous support equals resistance. 60-minute chart as well, still higher highs and higher lows. Do we go back and retest that 7314, 7335? That'll be interesting to see there. 10-minute chart, again, like I said, it's been weighed down by the news with regards to Racket Benzica. Okay, testing that 7275, then obviously bouncing. So, a bit of a high for the today is uh, 7307. Double top is 7310. Let's see if we can hold, okay? It should be interesting to see here. Let's see if we can hold. Now, we've broken below that key diagonal trend line, so 7275 certainly is your support zone for now. Okay, so that's the uh, status quo there. In terms of Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just observe this and judge this. We have had a bounce again, looking for that bounce to close that gap at 3480. 60 minute chart as well, higher highs and higher lows range supreme. Again, looking to close that gap at 3450. So, certainly room for a movement higher on the European equities from my perspective. Uh, okay, looking at horizontal support here. Okay, so you've got horizontal support here, horizontal support here, and then you've got a gap here below at 3390. So, let's see if we can close that. The pivot high. We've seen thus far is uh, 3435. Let's see if we can retest that as well. So interesting times ahead. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit Trade Signals, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.